particles like m1 m2 m3 m4 all dots are showing the masses here so like this now definitely if it is made up of system of many particles so it must have a center of mass and the distance of that center of mass from axis of rotation that is called position of center of mass in term of this only it can be explained that is k so k radius of gyration is being represented by k it means the distance from axis of rotation of whom for a system of particle at which the total mass of the body rigid body is assumed it means center of mass have the same moment of inertia as i is equal to sigma mi into r square so sigma mi square is exactly moment of inertia so he is saying for a system of particle if i is equal to m that is total mass of the body into k square what is k here k is called radius of gyration understood or not you know sigma mi is equal to total mass that is ri square it means r i square is equal to k square i can say what is r i square this is summation of all distances or sorry square of the distances from axis of rotation suppose it is r1 r2 r3 r4 r5 so i will do square of all then i will add them together then i can find out what it must be equal to k square in most of the books it is written that r1 plus r2 square plus r3 square like this 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 r i square is equal to k square this is called radius of gyration where k is called radius of gyration if i have to find out k so i will find out under root of this is this clear so radius of gyration is that distance from axis of rotation at which the total mass it means center of mass of the system of particle is lying understood this is called center of sorry radius of gyration now next topic which is important here this is kinetic energy of a body in combined rotation and translational motion it means suppose this is a body which is doing rolling motion on this surface and as well as its center of mass is doing linear motion so that is called combined motion rotation and translational motion but see center of mass is only doing linear motion but another particle suppose this is i particle so this is moving linearly as well as doing rotational motion these all particle are doing rotational motion but only center of mass is doing what linear motion so here velocity of ith particle any particle i can take velocity here i can take velocity here here the velocity of ith particle will be less than whom velocity of center of mass o is called velocity of center of mass so here i had taken the point above to the center of mass so its velocity will be more than velocity of center of mass so that's why it is written velocity of center of mass plus velocity of ith particle from center of mass velocity of ith particle from center of mass is this clear so what will be the kinetic energy with respect to earth it is velocity of ith particle with respect to center of mass here center of mass ke respect mein kitni velocity hai wo jud jayegi isme aur yahan niche agar hoga to that is velocity of center of mass ke comparison mein kya ho jayegi kam ho jayegi aur jo bhi hogi jahan pe kam hogi kam judegi jahan pe zyada hogi zyada judegi but velocity of center of mass se kisi bhi particle ki velocity will be more so here kinetic energy of ith particle with respect to earth that is equal to half mi vi square because vi is the velocity of particle with respect to earth vo is also velocity of center of mass with respect to earth so how much i can write vi is equal to ith particle velocity is equal to vo plus vi with respect to center of mass 1 upon 2 mi bracket start vo plus vi cm whole square so a plus b whole square i will apply a square plus b square plus 2ab then on simplifying it will become like but this is the ith particle only one particle but you know this rolling body is made up of like many more particles like this so what will be the kinetic energy of the whole body so for that i will do summation of all particle so summation sigma mi into vi square will i do it like this 
so then substituting the value of vi here again that is will become v square v not square and vi ith particle with respect to center of mass and this is sigma mi into vo dot vi with respect to cm but see sigma mi is total mass velocity of ith particle with respect to what center of mass or vo is equal to how much geo zero sigma mi into vicm dot their product will be how much zero mi into vi into icm so that will become zero vi into ci so their product will be zero because both are having same understood or not so what is left only mi into vo square and this is mi into vicm square so like this what is that sigma mi is called m and this is sigma mi you know v is equal to v is equal to r into omega so v i c m it means velocity of ith particle with respect to center of mass will be r square with respect to cm into omega omega will remain same for all particle because angular velocity remains same so substituting their value here so it will become half m sigma mr square is this clear or not this vi square substituting here so this will remain like this so this is sigma mi into ricm so that will become icm it means moment of inertia with respect to center of mass into omega square so that's why i can write half icm into omega square further if there is no linear motion it means there is no linear motion it means vo is not present so vo is equal to r into omega v is equal to r omega so substituting value r square into omega square substituting this here so what is m r square what is common here 1 upon 2 is common so i had taken 1 upon 2 common from both and omega square is also common so omega square i had taken common what is left m r square plus i c m so this is left here so what is m r square plus i c m so with the help of parallel axis theorem see parallel axis theorem is this and this it means I am finding rolling motion with respect to this surface. So this is parallel axis theorem. Parallel axis theorem will be applicable according to the parallel axis theorem. Mr square plus ICM is equal to I. That is moment of inertia of the rolling body. So that's why the kinetic energy of the rolling will be half I into omega square. So this is very important. See how I had substituted the value here. So I had explained to you here. V I C M. It means velocity of ith particle with respect to center of mass. V is equal to R into omega. I had substituted like. This. So that's all for today. In next topic, we will study about the various formula of moment of inertia. How to do derivation of various formula for which a table table is given to you in your book. You have to remember all the formula of moment of inertia. But I am I will tell you about the derivation. How to derive the expression for moment of inertia. Thank you and have a great day.